Good evening. One of you asked on my website explainingmaths.com to help with this uh, question about statistics. And the question or the video consists out of two parts because the question continues. So in part two, we'll have a look at the second part of this question, which is about um, histograms and frequency density. So all credit goes to Cambridge because this is a past paper question. And we are here simply uh, gathered together to, to help each other with maths. Okay, what's going on? It says each student in a class is given a bag of sweets. Lucky students, by the way. Okay, the students note the number of sweets in their bag. And the results are shown in the table where they say X is bigger or equal to zero, but smaller to 10. Okay, now before we dive into those questions, have a look at the table. What does it say? It says the number of sweets, 30, 31, 32, and the frequency. So 10 bags with 30 sweets, 7 bags with 31, and X amount of bags with 32 sweets. But X, we said, big or equal to zero, but smaller to 10. Let's put a little line underneath of that, because I'm sure that's going to be important in a minute. Okay, let's have a look. For one point, they ask, state the mode. Now, what is the mode? The mode is that uh, piece of data with the highest frequency, the yeah, what uh, the one that occurs the most, the most popular piece of information. And as you can see, there are 10 bags with 30 sweets and only 7 bags with 31 sweets. So 30 sweets occurs more, uh, more frequently, it has a higher frequency. But the 32 sweets, I'm not sure, it says X and we don't know what X is, however, we do know that x is bigger or equal to zero, but smaller to 10. Yeah, So smaller to 10, so for sure the mode is going to be 30. So let's write that down. That's the answer, 30. And why is it 30? Because 30 sweets has the highest frequency. So don't write down 10 as the mode, no. 10 is the highest frequency, so 30 is the mode. Good. We continue. It says, find the possible values of the median. That is important, that S there, values, so more than one of the median. Now, what is the median? The median is if you put all the pieces of information in a row from small to big, then the median is that piece of information in the middle. Now, there are several ways of doing that for this particular question. And, um, well, for instance, what could you do? You could just write the piece of information down. So I have 30 suites two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bags with 30 sweets, okay? So I'm just writing it down, and I have seven bags with 31 sweets. I'm going to write it down too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this doesn't take very long. So I, I've, uh, I put them in order from small to big. Now we're just going to imagine, uh, for uh, to start with, that x is zero. Uh, x is bigger or equal to zero, smaller to 10. Let's say x is zero. So what is the median? The median is that piece of information in the middle. And it looks like as if it's 30. Well, let's be sure. So I'm going to take one piece of information away at the beginning and one at the end. And one at the beginning and one at the end. And then I go move inwards. But I see still going to take a while. So I'm going to take three away. Let's take two away. Uh, one, two, one, one. And then indeed I can see that one possible value for the median is 30. Yeah, so same as the mode, 30. However, we took now 0 for x, but we can also take another number for x, 1 or 2 or 3, as long as it's less than 10. So we're going to experiment a little bit, and I'm going to take, uh, for instance, 1, 2, 3 of those, and then see what the medium becomes. And if I do that properly, we do it in red, we'll do it in blue now. So I do one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. And I'll take uh, one, two, three, because we're not there yet. One, two, three. Go a little bit slower now. One, 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 one. And now I have two pieces left in the middle, 13 and 31. So what is the median? The median is that piece of data then exactly between 30 and 31. Yeah, So you could do 30 plus 31 over 2, which is 30.5. Okay, so my second possible value for the uh, median is 30.5. Now I can continue uh, experimenting uh, with x, so I could add some more to them, uh, as long as it's less than 10. So I have now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
well, I'm just going to squeeze one in here, nine. So let's say we have nine um, bags of sweets with 32, uh, which is the highest possible value. Let's find out what the medium then can be. So I take away one, two, three, four, five at the beginning. I'll take away one, two, three, four, five at the end. And I'll take away one, two, three, four, five at the beginning. And one, two, three, four, five at the end. One, 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 one. And then you can see you have two pieces of information of 31. Yeah, what lies exactly between 31? What is 31 plus 31 divided by two? Indeed, that is 31. There you go. So that's a very useful uh, visual way of solving it. What you could do, I don't want to do it uh, in too much detail, what you could have done, uh, so uh, for the first value, when x was still 0, how many pieces of information do I have? 17, uh, 10 of 30 and 7 of 31. So I have 17 pieces of information, 10 plus 7. Where is the median? You always add 1 then to the amount of piece of information and then divide it by 2. So the median will be that piece of information on position 9. And as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that would be indeed 30 sweets. You could do the same and then increase the amount of X. But I just like to write down all the pieces of information because it's not that many to write down. Good, moving on to the last question, again for three points. They say now the mean number of sweets is 30.65. Find the value of X. Now, what is the mean? Um, what I always tell my class is that the mean is, uh, well, your teachers are mean, and that's how we calculate your report score. So what do we do? We add up all your tests and we divide it by the amount of tests you've done. Yeah, that's the mean. So that's the sum of all the values, the sum of all the tests divided by the amount of values. Okay, so how many values do we have? Well, I can add 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30, and add them all up, plus 31 plus 31. But perhaps quicker, huh? what is a shortcut for adding that is multiplication? So I can do, well, I have 10 times 30 plus, so I'm plusing all the pieces of information. I have 7 times 31 pieces of information plus, yeah, an x time 32. All right, that's the times. Good. That is the sum of all the values divided by the amount of values. That is 10 plus 7 plus x. So I'm just going to write down 17 plus x. Yeah, 17, 10 plus 7 plus x. Good. And that is the mean. And they tell me in the question, well, the mean is 30.65. And now we have to find out, so what is the value of x? Now, um, let's simplify it a little bit. Let's start working um, the numerator out first. Um, if you do that on a calculator, 517 you get plus, well, 32x. Those are not like terms, so I cannot add them. 17 plus x, just leave it like that, equals 30.65. Good. Now, I'm not going to write down all the steps to solve this, um, this equation, but how do you get rid of that um, denominator? How do you get rid of the fraction? By multiplying it by 17 plus x. Both sides, okay? So I times this side by 17 plus x. Then I get rid of that denominator. And then I have to times this side also by 17 plus x. Good. So what does that look like then? If I just put a little line here, I'll continue. So 517 plus 32x equals um, 17. Sorry here. 17 times 30.65 is, I've been told anyway, 521.05 plus... 30.65x. That fits just on my screen. Okay, that's the equation. How do you solve it? Well, you rearrange it. You take away 30.65x away here. You take it away there. And then you take away 517 here. You take it away there. I don't really have the time and the space to do all of that. But if you solve this equation properly, then you should get x equals 3. So apparently there are three bags with 32 sweets. Good. Now move on to um, the second video because we also have a B and a C question and we're going to talk about, like I said, histograms and frequency density. Check my site guys, explainingmaths.com uh, for all my free resources and please like and share if it was useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.